We're going to go back here. How many small cubes, that's those, make a long? One small cube. Oops, ten small cubes make a long, and that re represents what number? Ten. It represents ten. This long right here represents ten. How many longs make a flat? Ten. Ten of these make a flat, so ten longs make a flat. This flat represents what number? 100. 100. And how many flats make a cube, which I don't have in front of me anymore? How many flats make a thousand cubes? Ten of them, which represents? 1,000. 1,000. Are you guys noticing a pattern? Yes. I notice a pattern too. Down below, it explains each of the place value and what the value of the number is. So we always hear place value when we hear value. And sometimes that can be confusing. What is place value and what is value and why are they different and why are they confusing? So when you think of value, you have to think of how much is it worth. Place value is what place is it or in the number. So if we look at our ones, how much is the value of that? If I gave you that much money in dollar bills, what is the value of it? What's the digit say? It tells us. What's that digit say? Three. It says three, right? The digit tells us it's three. So what is the value of that? Sitting right there all by itself, it's what, Ian? Three dollars. Three. Its value is three. It's three of these. One, two, three. How much is that? Three. 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 That's the value. So this is telling us the value at the bottom. It is, and I'm going to write value in so I remember, 3 is the value of those three ones. Okay? What is the place value of it? Place means what place on the chart is it in? Ones. It's in the ones place. Okay? Now let's look at the one. What does that look like? It looks like this, right? One ten stick. What is the value of that ten stick? How much is it worth? Okay, what is the value, class? Ten. Ten. It's worth ten. So the value of this is ten, and they even wrote it there for you. The value is ten. Okay. What is the place value of that one? It's the tens place value. Okay. Let's look at the nine right here. It says the value of the digit 9 is 9 ten thousandths. What would that look like in a number? What is 9 ten thousandths? Remember we made 10,000 sticks? We made longs that look like 10,000 when we put all of these cubes together. And we made a 10,000 long. So what is the value if we had 9 of those? I want you to discuss with your elbow partner what you think that might we're going to do that nine times. So we would have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90,000. Compare the value, compare the value of the underlying digits. So you, this number here, the digit, what is underlined here? What digit? Three. Three. What digit is underlined here? Three. Three. So we're going to go put these in place value chart. So everybody go ahead and write the first number, 2,304 hundreds. hundreds. Very good. It says it right there. It's in the hundreds. Okay. So I'm going to take three hundreds and put those out. That's what it looks like. That's the value of the, the three hundreds. How much is that? When I show you, how much is the value of that? Three hundred. So I'm going to go ahead and write the value is 300. But I'm not done. I need to go do the next one. It says find the value of the 3 in the 16,135. So I'm going to write the 5, 3, 1, 6, 1. Okay, looking at the place value chart, the 3, eyes are up here. The 3 is in what place value? Tens. It's in the tens place. So I'm going to get some ten six. How many do I need? Three. Three of them. It tells me I need three tens. Here they are. What is that worth? What is the value? 30. Class? 30. 30. 
So the value of the 3 in this one is 30. Each 100 is 10 times as many 10s. So 3 hundreds is 10 times as many as 3 10s. What that's saying is if you look at the 3 here, it's going to be 10 times the amount of 10s. No, not 0 because the 0 is different. But 3 hundreds is going to be 10 times the 10. So it's kind of tricky. So what this looks like, when you have the tens here and you have the hundreds here, you see the three here? And you see the three here? This has to be 10 times this one. So if I, let me show you again what that means. Let me put them here. Let's say that was all threes. If I'm working with the same digit. Here it's worth how much? It's ones. There's three of them. It's worth three. This one is worth 30. Is three times 10 30? Yes. Okay. So I can go this number times 10, and it's going to be 10 times as much. So this, in this case, it was three. In this case, it's 30. Now I'm going to do 10 times. 10 times the 3 here, it's going to be what? 300. So if I have 30, this one's 30, the value is 30, and I'm going to do times 10 again, it's going to be 300. 300. I know that's super tricky. And then to move to the next one, I'm going to do 300 times 10, and that's going to equal 3,000. Okay, and then I'm going to do 3,000 times 10, and I'll get 30,000. So this one is, the value of this one is 30,000, 3,333. And I can say it like that. Look, 33,333. That's how I say it. And that's what it means. It's just, you just need to understand, what I'm trying to get you to understand, is that each time you go in the place value, it's 10 times the one before. That's it. So from here to here, it's 10 times. From here to here, it's 10 times again. And then from here to here, it's 10 times. And from here to here, it's 10 times. That's all I'm trying to get you guys to understand. I know the rest is kind of tricky. But that's where we're going. So, anyways, the value of the 3 in this number, I'm going to write this one back. I have the same digit here in the tens and the same digit here in the hundreds. So this is how many times this? Raise your hand if you think you know. This number is how many times this number? Tens to the hundreds. How much do we, what do we need to do? Times... So we're going to do 10 times. Remember, how much it increases from each one? 10 times. Okay, I know, totally tricky. Again, we have one cube is worth one. One long is, wor is worth 10 ones. One flat is worth 10 tens. One thousands cube is worth 10 hundreds. What about, pretend that this is our 10,000 long, our long with 10 of these. We call that a long again. We've already done this. We had it over there by Miss Tara. Right? How much was that? How many of these did we put? Nine. No, nine more. Ten. We put ten thousands, right? What if we put... We had ten. We had that long now. Let's say that we put these ten of these together, and they all stuck together to make a long. How many longs would we need to make a flat? Ten. ten. Very good. So we're going to make a flat, and we need ten, ten thousands. Remember that they were. Now we're going to get really tricky. If we had, pretend like we're giants. And this is a ten and this is a hundred thousand flat. Are we giants if this is a hundred thousand flat? 
Yeah, because remember we have a hundred of these put together. Pretend like we're looking at this now as giants. This is a hundred of these. You gotta use your imagination, okay? If this is our hundred flat, hundred thousand flat, how many of these need to go together to make an, the next cube? Ten. Ten of these, right? So we need to make a cube again. And I'm going to make my little 3D cube art class. There we go. It's a cube. And we need ten one hundred thousands. This was a hundred thousand. Remember? <coughs> We're imagining it's a hundred thousand. That's our million cube. So it would be a million of these stacked together. All right, let's look at number two. What place do you see it in here? Does anybody figure out what place it's in? Yes, Bella. It's in the hundred thousands place, and I'm just going to write that up here. Okay, I'm losing my pen. It's in the hundred thousands place. Okay. That's different because that's not how much it's worth, right? So she's told me what place it's in. How much is it worth, Devin? How much is it worth? It's worth seven of those. It's worth seven of these. Now we're going to compare the value of the two underlying digits. So the value of two in the first one, what is the value of that? 2,000. The value of 2 in 2,000 is how many times this one? Think about that. Remember, as you move down the place value chart, each one is 10 times the one before. So the value of 2 in 2,000 is how many times the value of 2 in 200? Okay, how many times is it, class? It's 10 times. So we're going to compare 40 and 400. I'm going to do the larger number first. The value of 4 in 400 is how many times the value of the 4 in the 40? How many times, class? 10. 10. Oh, you guys are catching on. 